Hello and howdy. We are back with another episode of Fishton. And I was doing a little bit of testing. And after I came back, I think from mixing the two files, it made our SUV disappear. Just the body, not the parts. Just to make sure, if you see any issues like that, let us know if we're having some kind of issue again. But I don't think that it was in game. I think it was because I was testing. So. Let us know if you see anything like that, though, and then we'll look into it. Because I don't think it, again, I don't think it's an error that's happening in-game. But that means we need a new vehicle. So <coughs> we may have to keep this coupe for now. But that's not such a bad deal. I like the coupe, too. And we'll go out looking for a second one after we get it all running and everything. We got lots of parts for it. Doesn't look like we got an engine, but we got all our axles. We got just about everything. And if you turn walking off, if you jump, you still make a jumping noise. I seen Bone Nugget having a bit of a <laughs> issue because he's like, why won't it turn off? Because jumping is something altogether different. And uh, we might implement something to make it for you could turn jumping off, but I didn't really think it was going to be a big deal. So that's my bad, if it is. I got so many parts for this car, it's kind of surprising. And I did get some more advice from Queen as well. She said, uh, why don't you buy some housing, place the furniture you have in it to bring the value up. Which was a really brilliant idea, so we may go ahead and do that as well. That's the trunk. I have a driver's door, but let's go put an ignition on. Which I don't see. Uh-oh. Hmm. Doesn't appear to be an ignition there. That must have... Oh, right, because the... SUV doesn't have an ignition. It, it comes on the steering wheel, so that kind of makes sense. There's an ignition there with an engine that we're going to steal. We'll steal that engine. Take that ignition, and then we just need a steering wheel. We can put our door on. I thought there was one over here. I guess there's not. I could have swore I might have moved it though. I briefly came in and see my vehicle was gone and I tried to figure out what happened and I realized it was my testing. Because we do have a new update just around the corner and it's a very exciting one. It's going to be another game changer so we're pretty excited about it and we had to do some testing. We got to do some testing I should say. So, um, things may have got a little messed up in between. Oh look, we got a hood. So we just need a steering wheel now. Maybe we'll go uh, look around, but you don't see steering wheels too often, so maybe we'll just buy one. And I could order one from home if I had the parts desk, but I don't. It's poopy. I'll take the SUV parts, put them over here. I think we accidentally sold a trailer last time too. I'm not sure why it's not here otherwise. I feel like we sold it, but I'm kind of... Unsure. Because I play quite a few games and I've always got a lot going on. Also today I tried to do some improvements on my video quality. I'm going to try a different editor. Someone was saying my quality wasn't good again. I don't know. So I tried turning OBS up a little bit. And I'm going to try using a different editor to see if it's a little better. So... If you're seeing a better, better picture, maybe just let me know. Say, yeah, it looks better or something like that. And if it looks the same as normal, just say same or something. If you don't mind. You happen to catch the video. Right, we need to get a steering wheel before I forget what I'm doing again. So we need a running vehicle. Now, let's see. We got a coupe. 
Let's get a coupe steering wheel. And when you order parts here, they go out here on this thing. Just for you know, in case you're looking around going, I don't see it. Fishton does take a little figuring out. It's not always obvious what you got to do. Okay, we are home with our steering wheel. I wish we had a parts desk. We could literally just order it straight to our door. That's too bad. All right, make sure we only get the steering wheel. All right, so now we can put our driver's door on, which would be this one. Put that away. Get out that. Make sure everybody's good still. All the doors or everything. The lights. The hood. All right. I'll do some grinding. We'll just, even if it doesn't look like it has rust, we're going to take some off anyways. Just to make sure. See how there's some there, but it's hard to see. Sometimes it's on the inside of the car, so let's just give everything a little bit of a grind. See our value. 3.2 is pretty good. I think we did pretty good on that one anyways, right? And it sucks we lost our SUV because I think we bought it originally, but we'll just absorb that loss. It's the cost of testing. Alright, now we have a driving vehicle with a hitch. Again, I don't know if we sold our trailer or if we had some kind of issue or it flew to the moon again. Let's just have a look around for another car. Then we'll quickly build it up together if we can. Yeah, we found one. It's a sedan. Beautiful. Don't think we have much sedan parts at all, so we might have to fake it with other parts. Well, let's look around and make sure that's the case. Did we ever? Yeah, we put lights on the other one. All hatchback stuff, yeah. Sports car. Sports car. So we can steal these parts for it now and throw them on for now anyways. Just get higher value on the vehicle again. Might as well use these ones. parts because we can reuse them. Sports trunk. Pop that on. Oh, it fits really good, doesn't it? Just to have extra parts on it. Um, do we have a front axle? I don't think so. We'll throw this one on just for extra money again. The more parts on it, the better. Even if they're the wrong parts, it's better than no parts. Hatchback bumper, some scrap metals. Ooh, some chips. Number, number, number. Okay, so what else left on this vehicle? Do we need a back? No. Let's do some grinding. Re repairing, if we need to. Doesn't look like we need to. And it's not going to be too much, because we are missing quite a few parts. But... Yeah, we could sell it for that. And we're up two grand again. Okay. And we'll go look around for another vehicle. <clears throat> I don't think there is one. So. I can see we still got our axe with us. So maybe we can look into doing some logging if some of these logs are ready. That one's not. I could have swore it was earlier, but could be mistaken. 
And there's a big update coming out on Thursday. If you don't know anything about it, you need to get on our Discord because we talked about it, mentioned what it's going to be. But it's going to be quite the game changer again. It's going to change how things work. And it's kind of going to work with the store and make it for you're able to sell more items and that type of thing. So we're pretty excited about this one. And uh, I think you guys are going to be too. It's going to be a game changer on how the game actually functions and more things you can do in game. All oh, right, let's buy a house. I forgot about that. Um, what's the cheapest one? It's like eight grand, right? Hmm. Hmm. Let's go home and sleep, and then possibly we'll sell our run running car, even though we shouldn't really. Need about two more grand, I think, to buy the cheapest house and start flipping houses. Hmm. Well, we'll go look. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's six thousand for the cheapest. We need to sleep first. Let's get in a good night's sleep. Shift, shift L for your light at night, so you can see a little bit better. And we'll go check out some. I think the cheaper houses are down this way, but it's been a while since I've been buying houses in this game. So we'll check it out. Two, two, two. 150 bucks rent. That's not bad. Don't see a sign. Not for sale, I'm guessing. I think it's 8,000 for the cheapest one, but 89 bucks to rent that one. That's a deal there. That's for a whole month. 8.5. Let's look to see if there's any other ones, but I think that's the cheapest one. So we need, oh, oh that's more. So we need around that much. And since there's no vehicles available except for the one we're driving, I don't feel like we should use the one we're driving. Because we're not going to be able to get driving again. So what I'm going to do is head up the bank, and then we'll head back to that cheapest house. We'll place all our furniture, and we'll look at the value of reselling it. Hopefully it goes up quite a bit. And then we'll sell it, and use that money to buy an even bigger house. And start using the house flipping as a second career where we enter our own furniture and stuff. So we need 2,200. Sorry, my button wasn't on there. My num lock wasn't on. Hitting it over and over going, why isn't this working? All right, that should be exactly what we need to be able to buy the first house. Can look around for some furniture too before we go there, but you know what, let's just go there. We'll try to see what we can get the value up to and see if this is worth it before we get too invested. But if Queen told us this was a good idea, I feel like this is a good idea and a good way to make money. She wouldn't steer us wrong, would she, guys? 8.5, here we are. And we bought it. Sometimes you gotta leave to make it official that you own it now. So let's see what we got. That's a can of soup. That's a couch. Let's place that. Hit our lights. There we go. Let's do some of this, I guess. Um, do one of these. And again, each item you place in the house should slightly bring the value up. Oh my god, I took the money out of the bank to buy this house and it takes money from the bank so we'll just go put this back in the bank after sorry guys i'm silly i just totally forgot i don't know why all right 
Well, let's go check what the value is now. It was 8.5 when we bought it. And we'll put that 8.5 in as well for it's less confusing. Eventually, we'll be able to buy new cars, though, and I have heard that there's a rumor that there may be some new cars coming to Fishton, but it won't be for a while, but I have heard rumors they're coming. So keep your eyes peeled and keep on hanging in there and supporting the game, and we really appreciate everybody who's who has been. All right, let's look at selling our house. Oh, we only made 200 bucks off that. Well... 200 bucks is 200 bucks though, right? Let's go talk to him again and deposit this other money. Deposit. Eight, five, zero, zero. So we're up to $54,000. That's a lot of money we got. What we really need is some more cars though. I'm not sure what we got for parts. And we've done some racing, so maybe we'll look around to see what kind of trees are around. There's a wolf. That's not a good tree at all. It's the old wolfy, wolfy, wolfy. Nothing in there, eh? Nope. Nothing. Maybe we'll look at the scrapyard and see what's there, and then maybe we'll have to race again. I don't know. We can flip some more houses, but we need some furniture, and I don't want to buy it. Oh, I guess we could check Lord Fish's real quick. We're getting so close to our ghoul, though. We only need, what, like 34000 And we can finally buy the gas bar and start profiting from all this. we got to be careful, though, and make sure that we're getting all the resources we can, like that. <coughs> well, let's check inside of the house, because I'm kind of hoping to find some furniture. Look like there's anything in there though. Grinders. <coughs> yeah, there's nothing in here. Well, that's alright though. Okay, let's look out back here. I guess we will have to go look at the scrapyard now and see what's there for vehicles. Let's check this and see if there's any furniture. we got to keep an eye out now that furniture is getting a little more rare. Nope, no furniture. Okay, we do have a van. We do have quite a few vans. We just did a cube. A coupe? Not a cube. 1450, you got to keep that in mind. It won't let me buy it. Oh, you probably have to have the cash on you. Oh my god. Darn god darn it. Cool Andy. You blown it, man. Well, let's check here. Always good to get free stuff, right? Van hood. What's this? Hatchback. There's something with furniture. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, you can go ahead. That's what we need to keep an eye on, and we'll we'll try to do some more house flipping. I wonder if painting up would have gave it more value. I feel like it would have. And I just didn't think of it. Starting to see quite a few garbages around town already. I've already seen three. But uh, I think we might change that too. I'm kind of hoping that we change it to five garbages instead of ten and then it's a little easier to finish and the rewards a little more worth it if you're only doing half but again let us know what you guys think and feel free to say your opinion just try to be nice about it is all if you don't like it say hey i don't mean to be you know not try to hurt feelings but i just don't like it you need to fix it and we'll fix it we're pretty good about it we're all about updates fixing things and making everybody happy a grinder out on the road. Alright, well we got a hatchback engine, that's good. 
Still doesn't look like there's any cars there. It's another garbage. So maybe we'll go do some more racing. In our little koopy coop. And then we'll pick up a trail. Oh, we don't have the cash on us actually. And then we'll come back, look for another body. And we'll take that and take it back to the house and fix it. And then maybe we'll go buy a trailer. I gotta be careful. I always get carried away in the fishing videos, especially. I get having fun and trying to make money, and then I just pretty soon it's been an hour and I should have stopped an hour ago, so. Try to keep an eye on the time too, guys. I apologize for that. I really want to redo this track, I just haven't had time. Because other updates are happening at the moment, but hopefully we'll get the chance to do that at one point. I'm pretty proud of us in general. I don't know another game that's put out this many updates in this small of a period of time, so I feel pretty proud of what we've done with Fishdom. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you agree with me, and I'm not trying to be cocky like we're the greatest or anything, but I'm just proud. It's our first game. We tried pretty hard on this, and we've been working constantly on it, besides real life things that we have to do. Oh, there's somebody going to dump junk out there. I'm just pretty proud that we succeeded in the first place and we made a game that's fairly popular. I'm, I mean, it could be more popular, but I'm pretty proud of what we've done. The numbers we've achieved. When I think about how many people play it and enjoy the game, it just makes me happy. Besides the fact when I made it, it made me really happy because I enjoyed the game. those records though, eh? Sweet burnout. Oh yeah, if you don't know, if you haven't seen the last video. We now have burnouts added to the game. Just for you guys know that it's there. It's a little smoke effect thing. Works pretty good, I think. Well, let me know what you think about that. Ooh. It's not fair we gotta race the fish car. It's way faster than us. Make a record, make a record. Still can't beat that 38. So glad I did it on tape though. You guys wouldn't even believe me. You would've been like, you probably just set it that way. What a cheater. Cheater bow beater. Sweet burn out or brake burn, bud. No wonder these tires wear away so fast. Oh, it's the big race. Activate race mode. The big dog, man. Talking to the big dog. God darn, he's fast. Just bark out. Loves to cut me off, too. what the value of like every frame is going to be different but I feel like you know like usually they're around 2k or better so I feel like the races are pretty worth it for like something to do you just kind of have to be okay at driving is the only thing 
Uh, you guys let me know. Maybe you don't think, maybe you don't agree. But I just noticed I've been to the races now, I don't know how many times, and it's <clears throat> mostly because I'm enjoying the uh, frames you get from it for I can keep on doing automotive work. Could be a record setter. No. Darn it. I'm never gonna touch that record again. But I'm pretty sure I'm the greatest person to ever race in this game, unless you guys can tell me your record's better. Uh-oh. What the hell's happening? There we go. That was weird, it started sinking through the ground. Luckily, you can push control if anything weird happens to your vehicle to reset it, but... Shouldn't have any issues anyways. It's the first time I've seen that. The biggest issues I usually have is because I'm always testing, I switch from one game to another, and if things are different in one save and you load a different save, you can tend to make... Uh, big errors happen, like my SUV disappearing, but leaving most of the parts, things like that. So I doubt you guys will experience anything like that, is my point. Unless you're mecking around with the save files, huh? Huh? That was kind of close, but we're still like a second, almost two seconds off. I feel like that's pretty unbelievable, you know what I mean? Like, how are we that far off? Our regular. Oh, it's Robodog! Activate race mode! And here comes our frame, baby. God darn, is he fast. I just hit nothing. That's no, no, no. Uh oh. We're gonna drag race with him now. Oh my god. Burn. Burn. Ouch. Ouch. Oh my god, was that close? Out you go. <laughs> I can't believe we won that. That was so close. All that would have been for nothing, I think. I'm pretty sure. We won a van. There we go. Huh. Am I going to let us tow it? Let's save and load, and we'll see what's going on. A queen thought she fixed this last night. She uh, doesn't know what keeps happening. She actually already did this one, so I don't know why it's happening either, but let's try it now. Let's... Yeah, there we go. I don't know what's happening. I, do, like, I can't understand what, like, there's no errors coming up. There's nothing. So I just don't understand why that happens. It just seems to be once in a while. And if it happens to you, just save and load. Just remember you're going to have to change your audio settings back off if you want your music and footsteps off. Maybe you like them on, though. I don't really know. Do, 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 do. Got quite a few pieces of van. Thought we had a van engine, but we must have threw it in the other vehicle.
We got two hatchbacks, so we'll take one of those. Now let's have a look around here to make sure there's no other vehicle parts. Sedan. We just got rid of that poopy. Van ignition. That's convenient. We might have to drive this for a bit. I don't know. What's one? Mew. Save me. <sighs> Forgot about kid. I wanted to do some lumberjacking, but uh. Every time it seems like the trees aren't ready enough, I might have to ask Queenie to adjust them a little bit for us, guys. Just making sure there's nothing else van that I'm missing. Driver's door, but I'm not sure we want to put that on. Yes, we can. Just go around and do a general repair. Do some grinding. I always forget to uh, transmission and stuff can be grinded to take the rust off it as well. Huh. Maybe I'm not close enough for that one, but you get the idea. You can also do the engine if it needs it. It's going to depend if it's rusted or not, though. Well, I think we're rust free anyways. Let's see what we're worth. 2600. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll do it. Might as well. I guess we need the money and I don't really want to drive that. So got quite a few hatchback parts. I guess that's what we're going to hope for cuz we would probably get it driving pretty easy and we'll try to drive that around for a bit if we do get one. Well, again, we made so much money so fast. Oh, I forget when you save and load, those are full again. Let's go have a look in our secret hiding spot, but I think it's going to be empty, and we're going to have to come back in another, yet another video. Yeah. Secret. I guess what? We'll, you know what? Let's go check the junkyard, too. We couldn't buy a vehicle from there before because our uh, we didn't have enough cash on us, but now we do, so... And if you haven't picked up uh, Fished in a Town to Remember and you're interested, there's going to be a link below along with a link to our Discord. And that's where we're always posting all these updates and stuff like that. To uh, well, we'll post what the updates are about and let people know. Kind of build a little bit of momentum for the game. And then that's a part of being... In our Discord is you're going to be one of those people that's going to get that information earlier. So we do not have a lot of truck parts. It's two grand. We do not have a lot of coupe parts and it's 1400. Maybe we'll do the coupe. We'll do the coupe for now. We'll throw whatever we have for it on in there. That's a hatchback. And we'll try to get some value out of that while we're waiting for a car that we're a little more able to drive. That really damaged the car towing it here, too. I'm going to have to mention that to Queens, too. Luckily, we can just fix it with our hammer when it's like that. But it shouldn't be happening, I don't think so. Okay, we'll grab some headlights. Put them on. Anything we can do to get the value up, right? I don't know if I missed them or not. We'll see if they fall off. My mouse was kind of just traveling there, so that was my bad. Uh, 
And this is another sports car parts, and this is what I use them for as spares when I don't have other parts for these cars. That way I can get their value up a bit more. And it would be better if we had the right part, obviously. But still, a part is better than no part, as I say. This wrench seems to be indestructible, and I'm pretty sure that's the way we made them from now on, but not exactly sure. Ah, 21 so we made 630 off that one and we'll take it that was a good profit so we're still waiting on a new car we do have some parts we need, probably need to do some more parts runs around town I didn't even see that guy by getting a vehicle running again and driving it around but I'm just trying to flop as fast as I can to get us the house you know we've made over 6k in our hand today, so we're doing awfully good, and I don't want to mess that up either. Carry this home. We really need a hatchback. We got just about everything there is for it. And we'll just need a steering wheel and ignition probably, and then we're good to go. But I don't think our spawns are ready yet, so maybe we'll run over and we'll check the um, recycling yard and make sure there's nothing there again. We could go racing again, but I gotta stop the video because I tend to just go on and on in these fishing videos. Start going and then I can't stop. I get addicted to fish. Fish. And there is gonna be something happening to the trees. I'm gonna try to ask Queen to change them a bit for there's a few more around. And that they spawn a little bit faster. Or that there's more odds they spawn as full trees. I don't know if I'll do the value because I feel like it's a pretty fair value per log. The issue is that I think that there isn't enough logs. But if you disagree, let me know in the comments. And again, we'll talk about it. I don't mind discussing it. I don't think I'm just right about everything. Is there something in there? No. Hopefully he put something in here and we'll be able to steal it. Come out. Put your couch in there, and I'm going to take it. I also would like to get the manual transmission, but I feel like we need to wait until um, we're in a better position financially before I go buying things just for fun. You can get the manual transmission here for 750 uh box but it's a little pricey but i think it's worth it honestly we definitely should not get a coop i don't know how many truck parts we have but let's do it let's do it i don't know why again i said i was gonna stop we'll we'll go home and we'll stop there and when we get back we'll go around trying to find some truck parts because i don't think i really have any so Lost a lot of value just with us buying it, so we're going to have to at least find some of them. Looks like it was damaged. Yeah. So I lost like 300 bucks just buying it. Because obviously they've got to make money too. But I did see an engine over at the tower. Okay, this is the last thing we'll do. Okay? If you're not subscribed, make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe. And uh, that way you don't miss any... Future videos, talking about updates, or just playing game in general. And if you enjoy my content, feel free to watch some of the other stuff. There's always something going on on my channel. And there's going to be a lot coming out for now. Because I am I am more the designer than the programmer of Fishton. So right now, since we're kind of stuck on Fishton... And I only get to design things once in a while, and there's a lot of programming that needs to be done on top of that. So Queen's very busy, and basically I have some free time. And that's why I've been putting out so many videos and content, and the idea is that at one point I'm not going to be able to put out content for months at a time. And I was just trying to get a bunch out before that's the situation. 
Hopefully you guys understand and you're not annoyed by it or anything like that. Alright. Alright. So that's in anyways. Let's see. Well, at least we got our money back at this point. But we'll try to add a few more point parts to get the value up even more. But we're going to have to find some truck parts or use some fakes off of other vehicles. But we will figure it out when we get back. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time when we're back in Fishton. Bye.